need a side dish. So I'm gonna kind of use what I have and I had a lot of things that could go into a quick Pomodoro sauce. So I went to Costco and I bought their big pack of tomatoes. I use them all the time, they're gonna sit on my counter. But they're starting to go. I'm gonna roast them, blister them. Olive oil, salt, pepper in the oven. I had around a little bit over a pint under a quart of sauce I made that I took out the other night for meatballs. I'm gonna add that to our base. This is the rest of my basil plant that was dying. Some fresh garlic. I'm gonna throw in a half a chunk of fresh mozzarella that I had. I'm gonna make some bucatini. I love this pasta, by the way. It holds up great, especially if I cook it like on Sunday. And I know it's for Tuesday because the boys have baseball. Put in a Ziploc with olive oil. It holds so well. So, let's get started. I'm not gonna walk you through how to cook pasta. Follow the instructions on the back if you can't do it. Literally 12 minutes is what I go with. Um, but the tomatoes, I will. Olive oil. I just want to get rub them around. You can use whatever spices and herbs you want. I am going to use a little bit of dry oregano, salt, pepper, and I have herbs de Provence, just a nice blend that I have. I'm going to put them on here. And sometimes when I do this, I keep them on the side, like uh, cloves of garlic inside as well. I always have fresh basil. So the way to keep it, because you don't want to waste your money and go spend it, because this shit ain't cheap sometimes, and it depends. See this, the roots? Cup of water, like my kids know, we call this the basil cup. It's like a beat up old pine glass. So buy the basil in your grocery store. Um, you can even go to Beyond Organic. They have basil year round in their greenhouse and stuff. But if you want it to last at home in a cup with water, soak your roots, change the water every day. You will always have fresh basil for any dish, any time. Life changing fact. Any Pomodoro sauce, deglaze with a little wine. Oh yeah, see that? Garlic, a little bit of, I did garlic and a little bit of shallots uh, in good olive oil. So now I'm gonna bring that to simmer. My tomatoes are coming out and we're gonna add the rest of that tomato sauce I had with some fresh cut basil. So this is a really light sauce. This is not like a heavy marinara that I'm pouring on top of. So that's why it's okay to go a little heavy on the wine. It's always okay to go a little heavy on the wine. But, so you can just kind of see, it's a chunky sauce. It's a rustic sauce. It's beautiful. See, it's light. Um, big note, save one cup of your pasta water because you're gonna need it to toss in here when you add your pasta. Don't drain all your pasta water. That's what brings the whole sauce together. From this angle, there's our pan sauce. Throwing in our fresh basil. Pasta just came out. I added the pasta water in. Put that up together. Gonna start stirring. I might actually use a set of tongs to toss. I seasoned it up, salt and pepper. Getting our sauce. Now you might say it's a little watery. It's a little loose. Like I want a little tighter of a sauce. No problemo, because I'm not done yet. I'm not done. So you can do fresh ricotta. We're gonna do fresh mozzarella. Now this is a dish almost in itself, let alone a um, side dish. I'm doing this one handed. People work with me. Come on, ah, uh, that one damn piece stuck. Got it. Now, I'm gonna shut the heat off. I'm gonna toss, and I'm gonna let it sit. A little Parmesan on top. Let's serve this up with our chicken. Or actually, I just I think I just made an extra dinner for the week, people. I think it's its own meal.